Letitia, we're hearing from locals on the ground that it's not really um, national issues of concern, but it's very local issues. Yeah. Possibly living specifically in this area. Is that what you're hearing as well? Yeah, so we've, we've knocked thousands of doors and talked to thousands of people on the phones and um, cost of living is probably the main thing that people are talking about. Uh, you ran last time, you were successful there, you know, you increased labour's vote, what are you hoping for this time around, hearing and knowing full well that your chances are pretty soon? Yeah, so I mean, the reason I'm standing up this time is, well, you know, I ran last time and we had a really great campaign. We generated some good energy and I was really proud to see uh, an Anthony Albanese Labor government elected last year. So it was a an easy decision for me to put up my hand again because it was an opportunity to talk about the great work that the government's doing. And, you know, the, the work is really relevant to this community and to that cost of those cost of living issues. We've got cheaper childcare. We've seen over $700,000 put back into people's pockets with the cheaper medicines policy. And I'm a registered nurse and a mum, so you know, money back into Medicare is also really important. And also the way that Annika Wells is addressing the Aged Care Royal Commission findings, including putting a uh, standalone standard for food back into nursing homes and increasing the wages of aged care workers. You don't feel like a lamb for the slaughter a second time around? Oh no, it's just been fun. I like all this attention. Who I don't know anyone <laughs> that had run in a by-election before. before um, this, so you know, um, we've had this great opportunity to um, get Labor members together and really uh, knock on doors and talk to the community about the things that are important to, to Labor and to us, and to give people an, an alternative, knowing that it's a very safe LNP seat. Are people frustrated they have to come out and vote again? Do you think that's playing into it and doing you some favours as well? I'm not sure if it's doing me any favours, but definitely turnout is down, like 27% down uh, was the number that the AEC were talking about the other day. And, and yeah, people are annoyed about having to go back to the polls this year. They elected an LNP member last year and he didn't show up. And uh, furthermore, he's been implicated in a deplorable scheme, the robo-debt scheme, and um, yeah, people aren't happy that that was the representative that they elected. And yeah, now they have to go back to the polls.